high school playoff football is in full swing. For many players, it's their last chance to take the field before they graduate. But for Billings Seniors, Junior Bergen, it's about much more than just taking the field. He's considered by many as one of the best players in the state. And as Q2's Brandon Sullivan tells us, the quiet and humble quarterback will stop at nothing to give his team a shot at the title. Any of, the, any of the great kids that we've had that have come through senior and gone on to play college football, the number one thing I would say about them is that they all love football, and nobody loves football as much as Junior does. When he's out there, he understands he's just one of 11, um, and you know whether that's in practice, in the locker room, um, during games, he, he, he knows he's, he's out there to, to fulfill his role, and, and he's really good at you know, leading his teammates, encouraging his teammates. And the other thing that I would say about Junior is he is hyper-focused. Growing up, I've kind of always, I just always played football. I've always been around it, so I kind of know like what's going on, what's to, what to expect. There's some things that just happen, and I, I kind of see it happening early. Like the game just slows down for me out there. I'm really fortunate for that to happen to me. When we needed him to make a play against West High, and he just flat out had it in his mind that he was gonna, you know, leave his heart on the field. And, and he broke three tackles, carried a 200 plus pound, um, really good football player for four yards, got away. That is a really great example of, of the true measures of the kind of football player he is. I made some plays in that game. I felt there were some good plays, but ultimately you want to win those games and uh, if you could take away those plays and we win that game, then I'd be much happier. One thing that's so great about football is it's a game of inches in that if, if you're off by one inch against a good team, they're gonna make you pay for it. And when you got a guy like Junior Bergen, he will get the other 10 guys to do that extra inch that's gonna be the difference between winning and losing. You have to have guys like that. Well, I think being a leader is kind of who you are when people aren't looking. You know, you can't just be that guy who's, you know, trying to be loud and yell at everyone. You know, you got to put the work in when no one else is watching you. And um, I know all these guys, there's a lot of kids on this team that tell me, like, I look up to you. And I think that just motivates me and keeps me going and um, try to just stay as perfect as I can be. Here's a kid that he's been a two-time All-State corner. He's been a two-time All-State receiver. It would have been easy for Junior to say, man, I, I don't want to add on this element of being, playing quarterback. I, I want to go out and play receiver and play corner. And, um, but he didn't do that at all. He just said, I, I just want to win a state championship. That's his sole focus. So if, for him, it was like, if you need me to play quarterback, that's what I'm going to do. I just thankful I got to do it with all my best friends I've grown up with. You know, you know it's going to be tough leaving this place, but uh, you know, everything has to come to an end. I couldn't be more thankful for for coaching him, and uh, you know that's our number one core value is gratitude, and uh, you know that's what I would. I'm just I think all our coaches would say, man, it's a blessing to have a kid like him. All right.